Yura, welcome. Thanks for tuning into the Stride Channel. We are the Centre for Research Excellence and Strengthening Systems for Indigenous Healthcare Equity. Today we focus in on our research program too, about strengthening those essential system supports that enable quality improvement within Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander primary healthcare. I'm Veronica. I'm Kondamuka from Njeriba, North Stradbroke Island. Other stream leads are Professor Sarah Larkins, Kerry Copley from AMSANT and Sean Taylor from Top End Health. You'll hear their voices throughout this presentation. Stream 2 is one of four intersecting research programs that span the health system vertically and horizontally. Together, our program of work aims to strengthen Indigenous primary health care through community engagement and interconnections to broader systems that impact on health and well-being. If you are new to Stride, I recommend you watch the intro video at the website shown here. It describes the journey and growth of the Stride collaboration and our research priorities and direction. To summarise a bit about our history, in previous research, CQI tools and processes were co-designed with clinical experts and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander primary healthcare centres. Tools developed covered the scope of comprehensive primary healthcare, for example, preventive health, social and emotional well-being, chronic disease care, maternal and child health care. Regular application of these CQI tools and processes improved clinical service delivery. However, variation in quality of care continued across health centres and jurisdictions, signifying that there are broader system issues at play impacting on quality improvement efforts. Sarah takes up the story from here. What a molly. That's hello or welcome in Birigaba language from up my way. Sarah here. Building on extensive previous work through our research par partnerships, most recently the CREIQI, much has been learnt and summarised in this beautiful graphic. Please don't try to follow it now. If you haven't seen it, you can follow it up on the website. In Stride Program 2, we focus both on clinical and non-clinical domains of comprehensive primary health care, including the broader system supports that we know from previous research enables quality improvement in primary health care, such as workforce, leadership and governance, and cross-organisational linkages for better follow-up care. In this series of presentations, we describe what we know from previous research about what supports quality improvement in primary health care, what we don't know, and what we, and especially our service and policy partners, see as priorities for research. So what do we know? From work with our partners in these projects, and the large body of work from the ABCD National Research Partnership and the CREIQI, we have a sizeable knowledge base about what works in quality improvement and primary healthcare system strengthening on a broad scale. We know that factors enabling quality improvement span different levels of the health system. At the macro level, beyond the health service, supportive policies, CQI infrastructure and broader CQI supports and partnerships are important, along with a service that is well integrated and embedded in local culture and history and with mechanisms for the community to drive care. At the health service level, we know that a whole of organisation approach to quality improvement, a skilled and stable workforce with plenty of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff for high cultural security and two-way learning, teamwork and collaboration are all important, along with the crucial role of timely access to good data. And at the micro level, we know that trust and strong relationships from committed caring staff and engaged service users are important. Importantly, we have also learned that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leadership and participation in both primary health care services and research improves the quality of care. But there's still much that we don't know. From ABCD, there are consistent gaps in follow-up care for primary health care clients. Why? How can we improve this and close the loop for follow-up and action for abnormal results? While it's recognised that facilitation is a key aspect of CQI, we need to better understand facilitation processes, how and why they work in different contexts. For instance, can facilitation be used to strengthen links out to community and community engagement? and improve follow-up care? How can we support inclusive leadership and governance within health services? 
From LEAP and Lessons for the Best, staff turnover or churn and shortages of Indigenous staff and engagement with community are both considerable barriers to embedding CQI within local health centres. Community engagement is the main focus of Research Programme 1, however we'll also focus in this stream. Can sustainability of workforce be improved through community input and concerted effort across system levels? And lastly, what are the impacts of addressing these factors on relational aspects of trust and cultural security so important for good care? Thanks. So Kerry Copley, it's wonderful to have you here as one of the, the, the CQI queens of AMSENT in the Northern Territory. <laughs> and I, I should have my crown on. <laughs> well, yeah, I wonder if you could just talk to us a little bit about, um, uh, about the ways that you think um, we can best work together to, to um, improve quality improvement uh, through CRE Stride and particularly through Stream 2. Well, I guess the first thing I want to say is that AMSENT doesn't speak for its member services um, or represent them unless we've been asked to do so. But just in our, I guess, our discussions and our engagement with our services, the, the feedback we get continually around research is that the desire for research to be reflective of priorities and needs from the service and the community level. Engage with um, services, you know, around their needs and priorities and at all different stages of the development of new research. And, and I do understand how difficult that is and the different, the conflicting priorities, the busyness of primary healthcare services and their inability to, you know, commit time at, at and also the different priorities that researchers have. And I think we're doing that better and better as we, as we work together through the various iterations of the CRE. But you know, I think if we need to continue to strive, stride forward, <laughs> finding <laughs> ways to engage more effectively and have those two-way com conversations to ensure that research projects really do reflect local and ground roots priorities and issues. Great. Thank you. Have you got any suggestions about how we can do that better? Um, um, I'll be process for working together, but... Mm. Always through relationship. And you mm -hmm. develop relationship by getting to know people, by spending time. So like the face-to-face -face workshops, for example, when, when they're able to happen again, have been a, a fantastic way when services have been able to come and get an understanding about what the, you know, the needs and priorities of researchers are and in terms of timeframes and, you know, developing things. And the research kind of been able to understand what the priorities are from the services. So, you know, finding ways to build relationship. Much more difficult at times like this when we can't do that face-to-face. -face. Um, I think through projects like um, the Lessons from the Best and LEAP, where relationships are being established and built with services, that enables you to have those easy conversations with services about what else is a priority for you and seeing just seeing where that leads. Yeah. It's, it's about relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Relational over a lot over a long time, and we're all learning yeah. and, and learning new ways of working in this process. Yeah. Thanks, Kerry and Sarah. For more information about current projects and projects under development that fit within Research Program Two, check out the other short videos available on the Stride website. Also, come along to a dedicated discussion on this program. There's a Zoom session that's happening at nine thirty Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, the eleventh of June. See the website for more details.